seven tricep. Okay. C eight or finger flexors. And you <coughs> pull your finger like this. Okay. For you have to stabilize it so you have to hold the patient's wrist. I mean the hand. Um, well, let me get into the area. Just relax, relax, relax for a minute. Okay. And pull your finger one more time. Okay. I'm gonna push this down. So let me do it. Hold. Finger flexes. Reflex is a uh, uh, greater radialis. We did that, right? Yes, I'm going to do it. Sensory. Uh, did you have the C7? No. No, no right? C7, I'm sorry, C7 sensory. Same thing. I'm going to do this on your skin compared to sensation on both sides. If it's different, tell me which side is more sensitive to the other side. And you spray your finger like hand, you like this. It's a C, uh, PCA2, PC9, right? So you need to be with that PCA, right? Okay, is this? Bill, same as this? Yes. Okay. That was C7. I forgot about it. Mm. Now C8. Okay, one more time. I'm going to do this on your skin. Compare the sensation on both sides. If it's different, tell me which side is more sensitive than the other side. Okay? Um, it's all along the long, uh, heart channel, including four finger, right? So, I'm going to make this, this, you know, same as this. Okay? You have to cover four sensitive fingers, right? Any question about that? And for your range of motion, it's active range of motion. So you have to remember all the range of motion. And also, you, because it's active, so which means you have to tell the patient to move their body part. Okay? And also, when they move, you have to watch the patient. If you don't watch the patient, I'm going to cut out the point. And remember, when you say the degree, you don't confuse with the word. Don't say external rotation rather than lateral external ro uh, lateral rotation. So a lot of people get confused external rotation versus lateral rotation. They don't know such a thing lateral rotation. There's no such a thing medial rotation. There's an external rotation, internal rotation. If you say lateral rotation, medial rotation, I already got the point. Okay? You have to remember there's no lateral rotation. Okay? When you have a, a problem to explain the or how to perform the test, then you have to ask the patient follow or mimic your movement. And while, while the patient's performing, you have to watch the patient. Okay. The easiest way for solving for range of motion, uh, can you bring your chin to the chest all the way down? Okay, that's flexion. Can you take your head up all the way up? Stay for lateral flexion, you have to stay in the front. Right? Can you bring your uh, left heel to left shoulder? Okay. Right. And can you bring can you bring your right heel to right shoulder? Okay. And you have to see how far they can move. Okay. And can you turn your face to the left side? Can you turn your face to the right side? Okay. That's a rotation. Okay, you have to remember uh, range of motion. Okay, for shoulder, elbow, wrist, uh, only one side. Okay, I will tell you which side you have to perform on during the test. Okay, so for shoulder uh, range of motion, can you bring your arm up like this way into the front, all the way up? That's a flexion. 
can you send off? Okay. Oh, you have to you have to provide the enough space to the to the patient too. If you if you sitting down uh, to perform the extension for the shoulder, it's not enough space, right? So you have to <coughs> provide the patient enough space to move fully. Okay. So can you bring your arm to the back? Like that. Okay, that's extension. Okay, and bring it back. Okay. Can you bring your arm this way? Like that? And turn your arm up and bring all the way up. Okay. You have to watch patient how far they, they can move. That's A B duction. Can you bring it down? Okay. Can you bring your arm to the immediately? That's the A deduction. Okay. Can you bring it down? Can you bring your thumb up like this? Okay. That's the external rotation. And bring your thumb in like that. That's the internal rotation. Okay. And for the elbow, uh, you can have a sit. between shoulder and elbow, shoulder external rotation, arm straight and perform it. For your el elbow supination, arm can be flexed and good. Supination, pronation. Sup, no sup, right? That's the difference. Uh, for wrist, Flexion, can you make a fist? Bring it up. That's a flexion. And can you bring it down like this? That's extension. Can you spread your arm? I mean finger. Bring your pinky to, to the inside. Can you bring your thumb to the outside? That's a ulnar deviation, radial deviation. Okay? Any question for this? No, right? Number nine. Question number nine and ten is the same, just difference is positive and negative value. Okay? Okay. For neutral cervical uh, cervical compression test is you're gonna stay in the back of the patient. Okay? Then you're gonna put your hand on top of the patient's head. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna press this down. Uh, let, me, uh, let me know when you have any pain. Okay, ready? Any pain when I did that? That's a cervical, mutual cervical compression test. Okay. Jackson's compression is this. Relax your, your head. Okay, I'm gonna bring it to the side. Okay. You have to press toward the base of the spine. You're not pressing this way, you're pressing this way. Okay? Any pain when I do that? Okay. Any pain when I do that? Okay? Right. You have to press toward the base of the spine. You're not pressing that way, nor mm -hmm. that way. Okay? And for this, Jackson said, Remember, they did left lateral, lateral flexion and right lateral flexion too. Jackson flexion, compression, when you do it, because I guess, yeah, I guess because you was practicing by yourself, so you don't, you, a lot of people, they do it only one side. Then automatically, cut at the point. Okay? And also, just like a midterm practical, when I ask you, are you sure? Then think about it. <laughs> think about it. You know, you can follow your own instinct too. Not a problem. <laughs> Not a problem. 
Nothing wrong with that. This is Shrek Shang Tai. Okay, eleven. Although, in the during the in in the in the handa you supposed to use like that, but I usually do this way. Okay, Jackson's I mean distraction test is positive finding is ready a uh, relief of radiating pain. your head up, let me know when you have anything. Positive is relief of varying pain. So, uh, actually, the test, when you write down, it's negative. Because positive finding is relief of pain, uh, relief of varying pain. Right, so, you write down negative distraction. It's mm. significant finding. But it's negative because positive finding is really for pain, okay. really for radiating pain. Because uh, it becomes a uh, non cumulative, you use to be a cumulative. Right? So, uh, for non cumulative, there will be a six cards. You perform four. You have uh, eight minutes to perform it. Okay? And when you exceed eight minutes, just like a meter, I'm going to cut out one point by minute. Okay? So, but when you practice and you don't get nervous, then it's plenty of time actually. A lot of people finish it before that, but when you start to get confused and get nervous and your brain gets blacked out, then who knows when it's going to finish. Okay. Uh, okay. For 12 and 13, same question. Edison said, I'm going to perform Edison test first. Edison test, take a first. Take a deep breath in. Hold your breath. Take your head up. All the way up. And turn towards me. Okay. And you can breathe now. So you <laughs> oh, you are looking for change of purse value, which means the purse quality. You're looking for change of purse quality. 